Alabama Senator Tommy Tuberville. First of all, Senator Tuberville, welcome on set. We Thank love you. having you. Thank you. Now, you had the wonderful opportunity of being downtown for the trial today. You sat through it for many hours. Just give us an impression or two. Well, first of all, wasn't invited. I just showed up. J.D. Vance, senator from Ohio. We, hey, let's go support President Trump. He was glad to see us. Uh, and we didn't go as former president. We went as a friend. Uh, and here's a guy that he handled it better than I did, and he's been doing it for five weeks. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine going to that cold, dreary courtroom every day with over 20 uh, DAs, assistant DAs from New York. You know, there's a lot going on in this city, but they're all in that courtroom uh, trying to prosecute President Trump. But he handles it well. Uh, their uh, key witness was there today. Uh, and, you know, they had to get him out of, uh, I guess, uh, either home lockup or a, a jail somewhere because he's already been convicted of a, of a felony of lying in another jury case. And he said today he even lied while he was working for President Trump. He said that today. He said that today. And he, also, and he also said that, uh, and he did this, and they showed transcripts of this and played them over the, over the loudspeaker in the courtroom. He taped President Trump. He took his phone in and taped President Trump several times. Hmm. Uh, and it was just amazing. Now, can you imagine... You're, you're the president of the United States lawyer, and you're in there uh, taping uh, the, a voice of, of the president and getting him on tape. I don't know what he did it for, but there wasn't really anything incriminating on it, but uh, I'm sure he's done it several you times. You know, that's the thing, though. The, the, the best lawyers we know, no one can figure out what exactly Trump did wrong here. Even the FBI. I mean, it's just yeah. it's the most remarkable thing. Uh, the Justice Department looked at it. The Federal Election Commission looked at it. The prior district attorney in New York looked at it. Only uh, Alvin Bragg has gone after it with a bunch of uh, Biden former uh, D uh, DOJ associates working on this case. I mean, who, what's he done wrong? That's what uh, is so baffling. Yeah, and all this testimony was all orchestrated. You can tell they had rehearsed it, gone over it and over it and over it. He just basically sat there and kind of give his statement after they read the uh, the lawyer read the, read the question out, and uh, it wasn't very impressive, but you can, you know, he did admit he's lied before, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, again, taping uh, uh, the president's uh, conversations, doing things that uh, normally lawyers wouldn't do. Uh, you know, it's what happened to lawyer and client privilege. I mean, I, I don't, oh, under I don't point. understand all good this. Good point. Another thing. All right, let's go back to um, let's go back to the Wildwood rally, which was most extraordinary. One hundred thousand people in Wildwood. Um, the prior uh, the prior record in New Jersey was eleven. That was a joke. Now here's Mr. Trump uh, at that uh, Wildwood rally. Listen to this one. I have great respect for the office of the presidency. I never used to talk about Biden this way, until he did something that you can't do. He indicted a very popular president. It's not going to work. And it's really backfired. In fact, I heard they were going to do a couple of other things, and they said from Washington, don't do it. Please don't do it. We're indicting him into the White House. He's going to be indicted into the White House. They really quite remarkable. But the key point, I think, is you mentioned it. I think that the needle hasn't moved, and it's probably backfired against Joe Biden. People see this for what it is. And it may be true, Senator Tuberville, from the other cases as well. Your and, thought? Yeah, and you can tell this is all orchestrated, and President Trump said that. This comes from President Biden. This all comes from the White House. All these indictments are coming from the White House, pushing, putting pressure on President Trump. But as you said, it's backfiring. It's, it's giving him... He couldn't afford, <laughs> you know, this all this... Uh, 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 advertising he's getting, no matter oh. good or bad. Oh. But it's just unbelievable. But again, President Trump's, he, he's doing, I, I can't believe it. I mean, he sits there all day and he's good spirits. He knows he's going to have an opportunity to get through this. Uh, hopefully he doesn't have to fight any more of these. Look, that, look the indictments are starting to kind of unravel as we go down the road here. But uh, he knows he's got to get out and start campaigning. But his numbers are way up. He actually read those today. Uh, I think he's in head of every poll except for one in the swing states, states, and it's even getting better in that one. And he may be expanding the base. Just what is your political instinct? You, people are saying, Mr. Trump is saying, people are saying, polls are closing Minnesota, Virginia. I'm going to bet you that New Jersey polls close quite a bit. Um, is he expanding his base? Yeah, he's going to give a run in New York. You wait and see what I, I tell you. And you said he's going to do a big rally. I don't know where it's going to be. 
but he is. He's going to do it. Yan I'm hoping yeah. for Yankee yeah. Stadium, 75,000 people. <laughs> but then we're going to have to expand the health care facilities because AOC and her crowd, they're going to need more mental health counseling. I don't know if we can afford it, Senator. Another yeah. joke. Yeah, well, you know, he's making <laughs> a lot of progress, but he's making it on two ways, Larry. His, you know, personality and being a leader, and the other one is Joe Biden and the Democrats are ruining this country. Our country is in bad trouble. Uh, from the border to crime to inflation, everything is going wrong. There's not one good thing happening right now. We're looking at down the barrel of three wars uh, overseas. Uh, I, I don't. We, we couldn't fight one right now with the military we have. We're, we're so woke. But that being said, President Trump is a guy that can wake this country up and get us back on the right track. Let's uh, roll some tape on Trump and Wildwood about the immigration, the illegal immigration invasion. Here it comes. On day one of my new administration, I will seal the border, stop the invasion of people pouring through our border, and send Joe Biden's illegal aliens back home where they belong. I will shift massive portions of federal law enforcement to immigration enforcement. And on day one, we will begin the largest domestic deportation operation in American history. I wanted to flag that, the largest domestic deportation. This is something Mr. Trump has said any number of times, and others have said, going back to the Eisenhower years when illegals were deported. In fact, the liberal Republican governor of California, later Supreme Court Justice uh, Warren, was the guy who pushed Ike to go through Operation Wetback and deport the Mexican illegals who would come into California and were bankrupt in the state. Now, do you think if, in a Trump presidency, is it your expectation that he will follow through? And if you can get a Senate that's Republican, they can start the, um, um, a large move. I don't know if they get everybody, certainly the criminals, to deport the illegals. Yeah, he's going to have to have a lot of cooperation. But he's told me for a year, Larry, that he's going to do this. He said, we have no choice. Mm -hmm. And it is. It's costing us a fortune to take care of these people coming across. Our veterans are suffering because they're, now they're using our VAs uh, in health care. Uh, it, it, you know, the, the millions and millions of dollars that the taxpayers are having to pay daily for taking care of these people is dead wrong. And again, American people are suffering. Their economy's way up. Prices are out the roof. But he will do that. He will load them up by the help of ICE, Border Patrol, local police, county police, state police. That's right. They have to go home. We cannot. Now, we need people here, obviously. We need people. We want good people here, but we can't take everybody. The American people can't afford it. Mm -hmm. We got places for them to live, but we can't afford to have them here at one time. Mm -hmm. And we need immigrants, and we've done that forever. But we're all immigrants, you know that. But, yes, sir. Uh, yes, but, sir. But President Trump, we need, he we, understands it. We need a it. program of legal immigration. Yeah. Desperately, we exactly. need a reform program of legal exactly. immigration. And part of that program is going to have to be deportation. Uh, Chad Wolf, former DHS secretary under Trump, has a very good piece about um, deportation on uh, Fox News Digital. Uh, Senator Tuberville, last one. Uh, you are uh, leading the charge to repeal this Corporate Transparency Act. I didn't even know about this uh, until the great Emory Cox told me about it. What is this? If you put, even small businesses have to fire up names, addresses, uh, all kinds of identification, and this is going into a treasury criminal database of some kind? Yeah. If, if there's 35 billion, million small businesses. Uh -huh. If you own an LLC starting this year, uh, you are going to have to send in all your data, your address, your phone numbers, your, your government ID. And if you don't send it in, it's a two-year uh, criminal uh, offense to go, and pr go to prison, $10,000 fine. They want it to make sure they can keep an eye on you. They say, well, it's for these uh, criminal groups that, that are, are shady. Well, wait a minute. Criminals are not going to give you their information. Mm. The good folks are going to end up having to pay for this. And what it's going to do, it gives the IRS an eye on all LLCs, mm. all small businesses. And when they want to go in, if you forget to send that in every year and report yourself, you're going to have to pay a price for it through the IRS. Can you reverse this thing? We're going to try to reverse it. And they, they snuck it in the NDAA right after President Trump got out. And again, they said oh, it's criminal that's activity. Right. That's criminal right. activity. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. got it. All right. yeah. Senator Tommy Tuberville, thanks Thank you. for visiting with us. We